Hello class 7th welcome to english lecture today i'm going to explain you a poem from your textbook prime english chapter 4 a bicycle built for two which was written by caroline wells before i start the explanation of the stanza from the poem i would like to give you a little gist or introduction who has written this poem caroline wells she was born on 18 june in the year 1862 and died on march 26 1942 she was an american poet and novelist life wells was born in rave that is in new jersey she was the daughter of william e and anna wells after finishing school she worked as a librarian for the rave library association her earliest book at the sign of the phoenix in the year 1896 was a collection of chardis Her next publications were the the Jingle Book and the Story of Betty in the year eighteen ninety nine. The rest of my life was an autobiography, which was published in the year nineteen thirty seven. She wrote a total number of one seventy books, but in the early years of her career, she wrote mostly poetry and children's book. In her later years, she wrote mostly mystery novels. but is still best known today for her light verse specially many classic limericks carolyn wells she was popular for her mystery and detective story student children fiction and humorous verse wells wrote numerous novels and collection of poetry such as patty fairfield in 1901 and a nonsense anthology in the year 1902 from 1901 Wells gave herself entirely to literary work, and over the next four decades, she produced a flood of books. Some, some around uh, I've told you one seventy titles that fell into several genres: children's stories, mystery and detective story, anthologies, and humorous and nonsense writings. Among her books are Patty Fairfield, beginning a second popular series for girls. a nonsense anthology one of the you know one of the widespread book and she has given a numerous children fiction as well she she is a prolific writer who has given a numerous uh, mystery and children fiction so carolyn will has written this poem also a bicycle built for two so student this was the little introduction about the poet who has written this poem let's start with the poem stands of one there was an ambitious young eel who determined to ride on a wheel but try as he might he couldn't ride right in spite of his ardor and in these lines poet is explaining that there was an ambitious young eel ambitious student means uh, you know a uh, determined or uh, something who is ambitious to achieve some goal who determined to ride on a wheel now he is determined to ride on a wheel but try as he might he is trying hard but he couldn't ride right because uh, we'll continue how how they are not able to ride properly but he is a young eel who is determining to ride on a wheel but they are not able to ride properly in spite of his ardor and zeal ardor and zeal means student a uh, real enthusiasm and uh, when you are you know very enthusiastic uh, very a uh, profound to do something so in the same way in these line this young eel is very enthusiastic to ride on a wheel now let's come to the stanza number 2 if he sat on the saddle to ride his tail only pedaled one side and i'm sure you'll admit that an eel couldn't sit on a bicycle saddle as tried now student in these line poet is explaining that uh, in spite of his so much of ardor and zeal and interest he is not able to ride it properly here i would like to give you the meaning of astride astride means with a leg on each side like a cross leg and in this line if he sat on the saddle to ride his tail is moving paddle from one side now from one side his tail is getting paddle and i'm sure you'll admit also means you'll accept that eel could not sit on a bicycle saddle astride astride means he cannot sit on you know over the two leg on each side he cannot sit on that way now in the next stanza that is stanza number 3 
और इफ ही हंग ओवर द टॉप ही कुड गो बट ही नेवर कुड स्टॉप फॉर ऑफकोर्स इट इज़ क्लियर ही हैड नो वे टू स्टेयर एंड अंडर द व्हील ही वुड फ्लॉप नाउ इन दिस लाइन पोइट इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस इज अू नो दिस इज अ स्टूडेंट दिस इज अ फनी पोएम and they are trying to you know they are just trying to portray an abstract situation or you can say a comedy or funny situation and uh, as this is a story of a two is what who are trying to come up with a solution to a funny problem and uh, now if he hung over the top he could go but he never could stop now if he hung over the top he'll keep on riding he cannot stop the bicycle for of course it is clear that he had no steer steer means to you know to uh, bicycle handle you have to hold it tightly you all must you know ride a bicycle so it is very important to handle the to take care of that handle in the same way the poet is also explaining over here also that uh, if both of them will sit on that bicycle they will not be able to handle that steer properly and under the wheel he would flop under the heel he would flop means that maybe they can uh, fall from the bicycle so it is very important that they have they both have to adjust on that bicycle in a proper way now what happened next we'll come to know in the next stanza stanza number 4 his neighbor observing the fun said i think that the thing can be done if you listen to me you'll quickly agree that two heads are better than one now in this his uh, neighbor is observing uh, the fun and said that i think that the thing can be done properly if he listen to me you'll quickly agree that two heads are better than one while sitting in a two way it is better that we adjust themselves like uh, that one person is sitting on that bicycle so he is giving an idea let's come to the next stanza that is stanza number 5 and this is my project old chap around our two waist i will wrap this beautiful belt of bottle green felt and fasten it firm with a strap now in these line poet is explaining that this is his project and he is telling this to old chap around our two waist means they are having obviously one is having another waist and someone uh, his neighbor is having another waist so he is saying that let let me wrap that vest with a beautiful belt of bottle green felt and fasten it firm with a strap okay now in the next stanza this is the last stanza of the poem this done with a dignified mim the two scrimmed upon the machine and rode gaily away or at least so they say who witnessed the wonderful scene now in this this is the last stanza in these lines poet is explaining that this can be done with a dignified mean the two squirmed upon the machine and rode away rode gaily away means um, they should get stick and tied up together or at least so they can uh, so they can you know reach to their particular destination now just imagine who witnessed the wonderful scene now student just imagine imagine how they are sitting and how they are adjusting themselves and uh, manage to uh, settle on that bicycle student this is a you know a quite uh, sweet and uh, innovative poem which was written by caroline bells and she is explaining the situation of a two young eel who are too much desperate and too much you know their ardor and zeal are so so much high they are so desperate to ride on the wheel but they just because of their tail they were not able to you know they are not able to adjust on that bicycle so the partner has given us some you know a uh, unique idea that they should you know uh, tight their waist and become uh, one body and can adjust on that bicycle so that they can uh, you know reach to their particular destination these two eel trying hard to come up with a solution to a funny problem you can say and uh, they have given a she has given portrayed the poem in a such a sweet and uh, affectionate way that uh, this small and little poem has become quite interesting for us to read and to to understand now student please uh, let's come to the next slide where i have given you question answers and i 
uh, I have given you this question so that you can write these uh, question and answer answers as well by your own on your fair copy or assignment copy with a proper numbering date time uh, not time but date and day and page number properly fill up your index properly and uh, first you will write the the poem eight lines of poem which i have given you in this video write at least eight line and if you are able to find the picture of that um, uh, this poetry or bicycle bill for two from the google or something uh, with the help of internet please draw that picture on your very first page while giving a heading you will give the proper heading and then you will start with the eight line poem and then you will draw a picture with uh, with the use of color and then on the next from the next page you will write this question and one by one question and then answer please uh, do not write word meaning it is very childish because it is already given in a book so there is no need of writing uh, word meaning please write question answers properly and on my next video i will give you a detailed question answers of this poem so before that i would like that uh, you should try these question answers in your home and try to search the answers this poem is quite interesting and easy but still if you are having any doubt please note it down on the paper or in a copy and when the school will get open please ask these question to me and uh, note it down your problem your solution each and everything please maintain a assignment copy because when the school will get open i will check your assignment work very prop very sincerely so it is very important to do the work in a neat and good handwriting with a proper marking of page number no page should be teared up, teared up and uh, you know nothing should be it should be covered properly and you use the copy in a uh, proper way keep it safe and uh, try to complete the question answers because i'm going to give you question answers in my on my next video so keep on writing it on your assignment copy thank you and have a good day